Hi everybody, it's Michaela from Rev, and we're going to go through the Max Swerve module inspection checklist today. If you want to print out your own version of the checklist to laminate for competition or for your own use in your shop, you can find a copy of it at docs.revrobotics.com. Um, if you laminate it, you can use a wet erase marker or a dry erase marker, and you can wipe it off in between matches, just so that way you can make sure that your robot is ready to go before every match. So the first thing we're going to start with is we are going to check our wheels for wear. So we want to check and make sure that there's no axial separation. So that's going to be separation of the tread this way on your wheel. Any sep axial separation of the tread that shows the core supports is going to show that that wheel needs to be swapped for a new one. If you want to find out more information on how to evaluate your wheels, you can go to revrobotics.com slash maxswerve dash we, and that'll take you to a website that shows you how to evaluate your wheels. So this wheel is brand new, so we know that it's good. So we'll go ahead and check that off. Next, we're going to check that our forks are secure and tight. So that's this part right here. You can usually just feel this by hand. Um, sometimes you can check it with your wrenches. Um, but if you've got back-to-back -back matches, checking it, make sure it doesn't wiggle. That's a good thing to do. These ones are good, so we will check it off. We want to make sure our bevel gear is securely attached so it doesn't slip. We also want to make sure that these screws are not sticking out. This one is good. We also want to check that on the flip side of the wheel that the hub bolts are fully screwed in. So on this one you can see they are all fully screwed in and they are secure. We can check that off. The next one can be a little tricky to see when you have bumpers on your robot. So doing this when you're changing from red to blue might be a good idea. So we want to check inside here that the steering gears are clear of debris and can rotate freely. This one is all good, so we are going to check that off. We also want to check that the axle bolt is in place so our wheel does not fall off in the middle of the batch. This one is good. The wheel is nice and secure. And then next will be the ultraplanetary bolts. There are four right here and two on the inside. We want to make sure that these are fully tightened in and that the Loctite that you should have applied when you were building the module is still in place. These six are good, so we will check that off. This one's really easy to check. You just wiggle your motors. If there's any play, you want to tighten them down to make sure that they're secure. These ones are good. This one, our module right here, technically fails because our wires are not plugged in. Um, but on your robot, you want to make sure that your encoders are plugged in, your, your motors are plugged into your spark maxes, and then your spark maxes are plugged into your power distribution, and then the signal, so your CAN or your PWM wires are also plugged into your robot. Um, we're going to give this one a failure because this is just one sort of module. The last thing we're going to check is that the driving rotation and the steering rotation of your motor are completely separate. So we can check that by rolling the wheel and making sure that it doesn't move um, in the steering direction, or steering the wheel and making sure that it doesn't roll forwards or backwards. This is important because you want your swerve movements to be precise so you can move smoothly across the field. This one is good, so we'll check it off. Once you have completed this for all four wheels, you are good to go and have a good time playing your match or practicing with your robot. I hope this helps. Good luck this season. And if you have any questions, feel free to check out the rest of our documentation at docs.revrobotics.com or reach out to us at the support team at the email support at revrobotics.com. Bye.